things about your language is each chunk of the sentence is connected to the next chunk by something called a connective. And if you ask a fluent speaker what's a connective, what's the connective here, they'll say what? Because of course they don't have to think about it, they just automatically do it. But they'll tell you if you're wrong. This is a program to teach you um, how connectives work a bit. Go to Gwa. Go to Gwa. And then it shows you the word, and then it gives you the whole answer. This is the sun. Okay. Go to Gwa. Eagle. The thing about this, I'm showing people that when you add the A, the K and Ski changed to a G. Okay, there are three different classes of sounds and they behave differently. See, the M's in a P. Okay. When you add the A, it changes to a B. So that's one of the resources we've done. Uh, I've also done, more generally, a, a set of grammar modules. Remember that you, you put things together with connectives? Well, which connectives you use depend on if you're using a common noun like woman, or a proper noun like Mary, or if you're using the time word na or dim, did, past, or dim, future, or if you're using yagwa or tla. So it turns out there are 24 different patterns. Well, that's just 23 ways to be wrong, right? <laughs> um, so you have to learn each pattern so that you can put things together. Because the speaker will get frustrated. They'll just say, no, that's not right. That's not right. And they won't be able to explain to you what you need to do. So what we've tried to do is, this is called the Visible Grammar series. We've tried to, to make grammars visible for people who aren't grammar freaks. You need to know how to put things together. So what we did is color-coded all of the different types of words and uh, that, that fit into different places. So the time words come into the first, the start part of the sentence. So this is dem wellis Debbie Wom. Debbie will pack the child on her back. Okay, so you learn how to do, put things together. I took those color-coded things and made, sorry, <laughs> and you made big magnet sheets. So we've got a couple hundred different words. So that's a time word, that's a verb, that's a connective, and that's the noun. Demokoidik sechkwom means will come connective the child, okay? So the child will, will get here, will come. One thing that I really appreciate about the system and the methodology that Margaret teaches, she's not teaching us to be dependent on uh, to be dependent on teachers. She's teaching us how we can teach ourselves, and for us to teach ourselves means continual practice. So when we do have time to come together, um, which is what I'm hoping to organize as regular sessions for us to be able to use these tools to work through these processes and continue our learning after our teachers leave. One of the beauties of your language, you'll hear a fluent speaker in connected discourse.
so that's the song when I when I was first in Hartley Bay I said I worked with those three ladies and when I was leaving that summer they came down to the plane and they had fixed that song for me and you can tell it ends up with Amsi Wa Amsi Wana Wana Away. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> but how could I not go back because they were so sweet. And I think when they gave me a great gift with the work that they did with me it, it was enormously important to me. And I, I suppose I've been paying back that gift for quite a while. So I hope that I've shown you some things that are available. There's much more work to be done. Your community can do some of that work, and I hope you will. In the database now, in the Living Legacy, we have three voices from Metlakatla. We have Arnold Booth, Mary Booth, and Alfred Eaton. And I hope we can get some more. Uh, I'm a bus, so the me is this is just beautiful for us to see. And we are so grateful for the time that you've, you've spent with us. And all the information, all the resources, and all of your hard work. Um, not that you need to hear this, but um, it's been amazing, amazing work. And the time that you've invested in all of, amongst all of our people, it's um, there. It's more than words could say how grateful we are. Thank you, thank you. This, her talk is the um, start of our Somalia learning initiative at the museum. And um, it's just the beginning. And I, I always teach the language courses with fluent speakers because it's their knowledge that people really need to access. And in this course, we're going to alternate. Dalna will do everyday language and some TPR, total physical response, where she tells you to hike and, and tan and do things and you learn the commands passively that way. And then I'll teach structures and then she'll do more every day and we'll go back and forth that way. No matter what level you come in, if you've never taken Somalia in your life, or if you're uh, an advanced learner, all in between, everybody moves forward. So it's, it's really a, an amazing um, method it's for everybody, for every learner. So if it's treated as a job, I think that it's possible for people to learn to, if they apply themselves and do it. That master apprentice model, the, the paying the master and the apprentice, that's how it started. So it's not that with what the Hyde are doing, that's not new to pay Yeah, someone Leanne someone Hinton in. from it's, uh, it's how Berkeley, the I think, program started. Yeah. yeah, is a linguist who started that model. And they actually got a grant so that they were able to pay fluent speakers and learners. They don't pay them a lot, mind you, sure. but it's enough so that people could focus on it and not have their lives chew up all the time they need. Mm -hmm. But you somehow have to find that time and the dedication to put into it. And having it as your job is a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. We have a reception outside in that little patio sort of area. Grace, if you can go set that up now. We don't put the food out early, earlier because we are surrounded. All the food would be gone, all the ravens and eagles would be really, really happy. Uh, so as we say in Somalia, come and eat.